you ever hear of uh, you ever hear of Killdozer, lads? No. <laughs> Colorado man owned a muffler shop, and he bought two acres of land or whatever. This company was like, hey, we'll buy the two plots of land if you, you want to build this thing. He's like, no. And he kept up and up in the price. They were like, fine. So they went, the, the concrete men went to the city hall and were like, hey, we're just going to go around this. We're just going to go around his shop and his two acres of land or whatever. And they were like, okay. But what they didn't tell the muffler shop man was that they were going to cover like the front of his shop so no one barely anyone would be able to get in and your man was just trying to repeal this for so long and whatever and he was like planning to build the muffler shop like on the two acres but they were basically going to cover the two acres with their own shop to prevent anyone getting in so he had a bulldozer on handy and he spent the next four months or two months constructing a bulletproof bulldozer <laughs> with 12, 12 inch 12 inch thick 12 inch thick reinforcements with concrete and metal sheets okay listen with cameras so you can see ahead of him and with gun ports gun ports for a 50 cal a 22 rifle and whatever else he had and it was basically a concrete sarcophagus that went over the top <laughs> with a crane he also owned, right? But listen, when you get the sarcophagus on, you could not take it off, okay? So, on January the 4th, he decided, fuck this. He put the concrete sarcophagus on with a list of names of all the people that had wronged him, and he went on a fucking rampage. He destroyed countless buildings, and he was actually shooting propane tanks to and, and electric boxes okay the police with their small firearms could not damage or penetrate this machine one man got on top to try and find an opening to place bullets in there was none a flashbang down the exhaust pipe nothing they considered calling the coast guard to get in an apache helicopter to bring it down with hellfire missiles but then they realized they were in a small born in town and that didn't seem like a good idea so the killdozer kept on its massive rampage the only thing that could stop the killdozer was itself while destroying a local hardware store it managed to collapse into the basement meaning it was stuck and this baller of a man on the inside took his own fucking life as to not be reached by the police the police using a explosives failed after three attempts they decided they'd use oxyacetylene torches to burn it open and after many hours they opened up the concrete sarcophagus and pulled out the body of the driver oh my god and after many years they decided they were going to dismantle the beast that was the killdozer and then by dismantling it they sent the parts to many scrapyards over the u.s as to prevent people taking parts as souvenirs <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. He's fucking American.